small downtowns are dying. What we're looking for is a, is a rebirth of the of the downtown and the small small community. I believe that we as a church can see miracles happen as we go through a difficult time in our lives. God will be victorious and there will be miracles. And it is happening. Hairball hole. Just where we found the hairball. When we seen it down in there, we kind of thought it was a goat. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like a goat had fallen into the sewer and died. It was like nasty. And we put it on wheels and then we would uh, pull it in parades. Then the paintball came around, kind of took over. That's a really great waste of time. We got some guy making a big ball of paint because he ain't got nothing else to do. Does he watch it dry too? <laughs> It would take something very specific and something very unique to draw uh, tourists to this area. Looks like it's all the paint. It's, it's nothing but paint. And then we had these ears. My dream is to uh, get it in a bigger building. Get it to where a lot of people can come and see it. This certainly is an example of somebody who has grabbed the human spirit by the neck and not let it go. He's just excited about having people paint it. If it starts to go, there ain't no three of us here gonna hold this ball. We're proud of the world's largest hairball and paintball. We have the biggest balls in the world. <laughs> He's the Van Gogh of Alexandria. If you're tired of the same old thing, um, come to Alexandria and see the paintball and the hairball. That's, that's my dream, to be a roadside attraction. If the city can make his dreams happen, well, we'd be glad to, uh, to get involved with that. You work with what the good Lord gave you, and if he gives us a good ball of paint, I guess you work with that. Don't let this paint be